Section 4 You will hear a lecturer talking about memory. Now listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 4. Use no more than three words for each answer. Now, today we're looking at memory, how it operates, and how you can make the most of it. That's if I remembered to bring my notes with me. Uh, they're here somewhere. <laughs> Don't worry, just kidding. Okay, let's take a look at how memory works. In order for you to remember something, your brain has to perform a number of operations. First, the information has to be encoded, that is, taken in and processed. Then the information has to be held until it's needed, which is the storage system of the brain. Finally, it needs to be retrieved so that it can be used. Most of us have problems with our memory at some time or other, and the older you are, the more likely this is to happen. Exactly how your memory suffers depends on which of your brain's systems is most vulnerable. Another distinction we have to draw is between verbal and visual memory. Think about finding your way in a strange town. You may prefer to take in information verbally, for example, turn left at the cathedral, etc. On the other hand, you may absorb information better in the form of a mental picture. To make the most of your memory, you need to use all these different systems to the full. Another way of improving memory is with a method known as PQRST. This is a way of linking something you're trying to learn to what you already know. In this method, the P stands for preview, that is, glancing through the text before reading it carefully. Then, Q for question, R for read, and S, anyone care to hazard a guess? Well, it stands for state as in to make a statement. And lastly, the T stands for test.